Hey guys, Waldy Salamander back. Today we're going to be playing some World of Tanks and some Minecraft. I'm going to show you guys uh, up so you can become invisible in hide and seek in the hive. And yeah, then we're going to go over to World of Tanks and play some of that. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Click the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment and turn on the notifications bell. So yeah, just gotta hide and seek. What the? I didn't even click on it. Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, hold on. Don't want to be in third person. Um. Okay. All right. Here we go. Much better. Um. Oh my gold door. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys how to become invisible in hide and seek. And no, this is not clickbait. Trust me. Alright, so we, you have to find the right spot. Um, a shout out to Mythic Madness. He's the one who showed me this glitch. So you have to go over to the side like that. And watch this. The block just goes right there. See? It just falls. I'm invisible. Look, I'll show you. So, settings. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, video. Third person back. I'm invisible. See? Now, when the seekers come over here, I'm just going to go out and start hitting them out of nowhere, and they're not going to know what just happened. Let's go back into first person. Alright. They have no idea I'm right here. And it would look suspicious, because my block was gold ore, so they would definitely get me. He's coming. Okay, if he comes over here, then I'm going to go out and... Actually, I don't know what I'm going to do. Tch, noob. Not even using the invisible glitch. Okay, uh, hold on. There we go. Hehe. <laughs> Alright. Hehe. <laughs> Doesn't even know what just happened. <laughs> Oh, come on! No! No! <laughs> no. Okay, I died. Alright, let's go play some World of Tanks. Alright. Okay, guys, so, just wait. Okay. Okay, if you guys didn't already know, I got my A20. Saving up for... I don't know what I'm saving up for, actually. Um, but, saving up for something. You know, something about the A20 is it's not that fast, which, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see that coming out of, like, one of the fastest tanks in the game, the BT-7, so, I don't know. Ooh, I actually have not done this map before, so this will be exciting. One thing I do think would improve the game a lot is by adding different game modes, because right now, you can only do, um, you can only play, like, Seven versus seven. So, well, ew, without having premium. I don't know what happens if you have premium because we don't have it. I haven't spent a cent on this one. And I think it's kind of stupid spending money on games. So, even though I have done it on some games. Whatever. I need it. Wow, this map is kind of cool. I've never played it before, so let's see how this goes. No, this is not fun. 
Okay. Now this is a new spot. Okay, there we go. Oh, I see that guy. Oh, come on. He's hiding already? Oh, I guess he's... Oh, never mind. He's not there. God, that tank is so fast. And okay, we're gonna go. What? For some reason, every time I record myself playing, I do terrible. Then I do like amazing other things. Got him. Right, this team has so many fast guys. I mean, seriously, come on. Let's go towards these guys. Let's help them out. Come on, do you see how fast that guy was? He is so fast. That's a BT7 speed. But also a tier 4. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. That was not very good. But. If you guys watched my last World of Tanks video, you will know that I did have a pretty, pretty good round. 1,000 something damage. Pretty good. Alright, now you can compare the A20 to the BT-7, which is actually faster. Um, I don't know. I like the BT-7 a lot. Maybe even more than the A20, even though the A20 is a tier 4. This is one of my favorite um, places. It's just like, I like it, it's fun. Let's get this show on the road! See, I mean, look how fast this one is. It's like, insane. And in the original world- Oh! What? The M5 store is not that fast. He must have some sort of upgrade on him. It's really good to hit them under the screen. That guy is so good for a tier 3. I should have picked the American tanks. The M5 Stewart, um, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's really good for tier 3. I don't know why I picked the Soviet tanks. I thought they would like all be the same, but they're not. Doesn't even know where I am. Okay, now he sees me. We hit them hard. Let's get out of here. Enemy is hit. Actually, I'm not that bad. Oh, okay, that is bad. That's not a good area. Okay, reinforcing this. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's get this guy. Oh come on, you have to get right in my way. All right, we can. Oh my God, he's trying to get right in my way. All right. Okay, let's go. What the? 
I kind of like playing with the um, BT7 more than the A20 because it's just it's more fun. The game plays better. Why is he using a Chinese tank? They suck. They're all from like the 1990s. Can we run over this house? Oh wow. Enemy is hit. Enemy vehicle knocked out. What a new Okay, 571, that's that's good. It's not great. It's good then. Alright. Let's do one more battle. Day 20, I like the BT7 more, even though it's only a tier 3. Just, ugh, I really want a fast tank, and I don't know, the BT7 is pretty fast. Like, I feel like after the BT7, the like tier, like the tier 3, the Russian tanks just start, or Soviet tanks start getting really bad. Why am I going up there? Only need to go this one. That's where I went the first time and it got destroyed. This is the best area. I think he can get me from here. Okay. Okay, this guy can get me then. Seriously, miss? Basically dead. That didn't actually do any damage to me, but we can kill him from here, I think. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't die. Oh, come on, you camper. Hey, I'm low too. I mean, you're low than me. Oh, come on, I just wasted a shot. Just wasted a shot. Come on, please don't get me, please don't get me, please don't get me. Dead. Okay. Alright, he didn't do any damage to me. That was pretty good. Okay, 603, that's pretty good. Alright. Gonna claim a reward, then gonna end the video. Okay. I hope to see you in the next video. Um, and 